What's up guys? Hope you're having a good Friday. Happy Friday. We have another NOS release. Magic 3 dropped today. Uh, kind of unexpectedly. He, he mentioned earlier in the week, maybe three or four days ago, I want to say, that he was dropping this Friday on his birthday. Happy birthday, NOS. Big fan. Um, and he just dropped Magic. It was surprising because he just dropped Magic 2 uh, a few months ago. I did a video on it. Like, Anyway, in this video, I want to talk a little bit about it, and then I want to give a sales prediction on what I think it's going to sell in the first week. Um, and I, I want to address this real quick, because a lot of people, they watch my NOS videos, and they get mad. I'm not sure if they're getting mad, because I always do these sales videos where, where I talk about NOS's sales. And then I always get these, these fucking lunatic stands in the comments, and they're like, you're an idiot. NOS doesn't care about sales. He only drops this for the love of the art. You are so dumb to even think for one second that NOS cares about sales. And the reason people say this stuff is because I'll, I'll title the video, like I'll put in the in the thumbnail, I'll say like, is it flopping? But that doesn't mean in the video itself that I'm actually saying that it is a flop. I put a question mark and then I explain how it's not a flop. NOS doesn't have to sell 500,000 copies in debut number one to not flop. He's an independent artist now. He can literally drop an album and then I can give my opinion on if I think the numbers I think it's going to do is a flop or not. That doesn't mean that, and just because Nas knows he's not going to sell 500,000 doesn't mean he's not, that he doesn't care about sales. He cares about fucking sales, you idiots. He wants to get sales. He That doesn't mean that he thinks he's going to sell 100K and then he sells 10k and that he thinks that's a flop that's not what that means at all but he is a businessman and he has to at least recoup what he spent on the hit boy, hit boy beats or even if hit boy gives him the beats for free they still have to split the publishing so you fucking retards who keep saying oh not just care about sales he does care about sales just because he's not selling 500k he still has a number in his head that he cares about so now that i got that out of the way let's get into another video of a not sales prediction sales projection and let's talk about if it's going to be a flop or not. Is it flopping? So, I love you guys. I, I just get tired. Every time I do a Nas video, these fucking stands just piss me off. So anyway, I love Nas, okay? I don't talk shit about Nas. I like Nas's music. So you should be happy that some that some people are still making videos about Nas. Because a lot of people on YouTube don't even talk about Nas. So you should be grateful that someone's even gives a fuck. You know what I mean? So anyway, 15 songs, one feature by the GOAT, Lil Wayne. Love Lil Wayne. And I hate to say this, guys, but I'm actually a bigger Lil Wayne fan than Nas fan. Even though it, it used to be reversed. Like, when I first got into rap music in 2001, I actually was a bigger Nas fan. Because Lil Wayne at that time was still around the block as hot era. He, I hadn't really got into him yet. But uh, once he dropped the Carter in 2004, baby, I was just, it was just progressing to where I was like, Nas kind of got it left in the dust. But I still fuck with Nas. Obviously, I'm doing a video. I care about Nas. But... Um, that's a fire song. The the one with Lil Wayne, I already listened to it. The beat was really good. That's the thing about Nas. He usually has like subpar beats, you know. That's kind of like like what people say. I don't necessarily agree with that. I think he had, he's had some fire beats, like um, the cross on Godson, the Eminem produced. That's a fire ass beat. I love that beat. Uh, Made you look fire ass beats. He he has some fire beats, but you know the kind of the the media always says like his beats are like luster, and some of them are. But he has some good ones too. So uh, he's got 15 songs in this bad boy, uh, one feature by Lil Wayne, independent album. But if you remember, Magic 1 only had like 9 or 10 songs, and Magic 2 only had like 11 songs. This one has 15 songs. So I can already say right now that it's going to sell more than Magic 2. Magic 2 debuted at number 52 on the charts. That was Nas's lowest charting first week album of his career. We kind of saw that coming. If you go back and watch my sales prediction video, I predicted that it wasn't going to sell well because it didn't have that many tracks and he didn't really promote it much. I think this one is going to do better because he has a bigger feature. People are going to want to listen to the Little Wayne song and it has more songs for his hardcore fans, you guys, to stream and to buy and to listen to. Plus it's his birthday, as I mentioned. So people are going to want to, you know, hook up Nas and, and, and get him some more sales for his birthday. Um, so I think this particular album, Magic 3, is going to sell at least 20K. I think it's going to do 20 to 25, maybe up to 30. I don't really think it's going to hit 30. And here's why I don't think it's going to hit 30K first week. Um, King's Disease 3, which had the same amount, of, a same amount of tracks as this one, 
came out and only sold 29K. And that debuted at number 10 on the charts. So I don't think this one is going to surpass that because that was part of the King's Disease trilogy, which has historically sold better than the Magic series. However, it could end up doing about 30K, possibly. Possibly, just depending on how, it's kind of like a crapshoot. Like sometimes I'll do a Nas video on, on YouTube, for instance, and it might get 600, 600 views. And then another one might get 2,000 views. It depends on how the algorithm, algorithm picks it up. So maybe the algorithm will pick up Magic 3 because it's his birthday, and maybe he'll end up doing 30K. But my honest thoughts are he's probably gonna do about 20 to 25 and debut definitely higher than last one, for sure. I see no way that it's gonna sell less than the last one. So I think at least 20 to 25K, which will put him around number 30 on the chart, maybe. So that's what I'm thinking. If it hits the top 20 and, and does, does like 30K, that'd be amazing for Nas. Independently, that'd be crazy, that'd be great. But I think like 20 to 25. So let me know what you guys think it's gonna sell in the first week. Yes, he does care about sales. And just cause I put flopping, is it flopping? Doesn't mean I'm saying it's a flop if he sells 20K. I think that's pretty damn good for an independent album. Do I really gotta explain this stuff to people? Are they really that dumb? I mean, come on, get some common sense before you just spew out some bullshit, anyway. So I think this album's gonna sell pretty decent. Let me know what you guys think. If you've never been here before, please subscribe. Give me a like, give me a like and uh, let me know in the comments what your favorite Nas albums are. My favorite album by Nas is God's Son, and then probably It Was Written, uh, if I had to pick my two top. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll talk to you later.